Right now you know we unstoppable Unstoppable that me them can't stop ya Unstoppable now we are trained Alright, so I'm back again with another video. Yeah, man, today is a busy day for me. I go extra hard. But people, the conversation about what the PM said the other day still a go on. You know when him say, yo, dead penalty for anybody caught with an illegal firearm. He must say, if him could have do that, it would have happened. You know, if it was up to him. Well, some people still up in them feelings about that and still attack about it. Because, I don't know how me feel already about that, you know. Because I do a whole live stream the other day upon it. And trust me, people down in the comment section under the live advise them opinion. Some people agree, some people disagree. But the general right here yeah, now the man send me a video and he address the PM and he ma talk for him opinion about the death penalty and what the PM say you understand people make way what the general office say Prime Minister Andrew Oldness may I say something to you today yeah may I say something to the Prime Minister today Mr. Prime Minister look how long I've been lobbying you all to review the sentencing guidelines and to make the sentencing a little bit stringent. But what you did the other evening was vague. And you know, you just threw a bone out there. Because you know, Mr. Prime Minister, you are not serious about what you said. There is no way on hell you want to give somebody the death penalty if they get caught with a gun. Mr. Prime Minister, I know you make a mistake in your speech. Yeah? Now, that's just a vague statement to, to, to row up the crowd. But you're not serious, Mr. Prime Minister. And Jamaica people must see through that. If you are not, you never yet come out and said, all those horrible crime, all those rape, that people and women endure, men endure, kids endure. You never said they should get the death penalty. So you telling me we know guns killing people. And you have to be very careful because a, people take taxi, police pull over a taxi, a gun is in there, five people in there. You're gonna give the five people the death penalty? Because a gun was found in the position of the, in them with the, in, in a taxi. You have to be very careful. Or you just throw a statement out there, Mr. Prime Minister. The crime is out of control. And remember, I am the one be calling, I don't know, to review the books because it's bullshit. Laws you not have to the nature of the crimes that is taking place. Guys get one year, two year, three year in jail. Why not review the book? Mr. Prime Minister, instead of you coming out and throwing a bone out there about death penalty if you get caught with a gun, even though we want to disarm Jamaica, we want to disarm Jamaicans that have illegal guns, even we want to take the illegal guns off the street, Mr. Prime Minister, you still cannot give death penalty for someone if they get caught with a gun. What about the person who have a gun to protect themselves? They are not criminal, but they live in an environment where chances, they just say, you know what? I have to defend myself. So it's just a vague statement you make, Mr. Prime Minister Andrew Oldness. It's vague. And you know it, it, you know it not going to fly very well with all the human rights groups and whatever. Why not call a sitting, review the books, that's what you should do, Mr. Prime Minister. If you really want to help Jamaica, that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do, Mr. Prime Minister. If you want to help Jamaica, if you care about the crime deeply, Mr. Prime Minister, call a sitting in Parliament and get all the lawyers out and review the sentencing guidelines for every crime in Jamaica, for every single Law in Jamaica review the sentencing guideline. Look how much ears me I love you if you do that. But you're gonna throw a vague statement out there when you know you got the power could have said, let's review this and see if we make some changes. Yeah. There's no way. I'm all for the death penalty. And the only way I would give the death sentence to someone if they use that gun to commit a crime. 
If they use that gun to murder somebody, if them use that gun to shoot somebody, if them use the gun to rob, I'm not going to give them the death sentence for that. I'm sorry. If they murder somebody, if they shoot somebody, if it's armed robbery, up the sentence into 25 years. If get found with a gun, first offense, seven years, good behavior, rehabilitation in three and a half years. Because you don't really want to. Some kids make mistake. Some kids make mistake. Peer pressure, the community you're in. You may have to step with a gun for look like, yeah. Even though you even though some of these guys, young kids know they're not gonna shoot somebody, but they just wanna feel like them into the know. You can't really just go throw them away like that. And pop off them neck. Mr. Prime Minister, it's a vague statement that you make. And you need to walk it back. I'm calling on the Prime Minister to walk back that statement. There's no way you can give death sentence. To anyone who get caught with a gun. Yeah? I make mistake. I'm not perfect. Uh, East Kingston may come from. Yeah? East Kingston may come from. I mean, know what gun look like. I know what it is to walk with gun at 14 years old. You live in the environment. You go have friends that have gun. You feel like you want to put it in your waist. So suppose you just feel like you want to put it in your waist. Just so feel like you have a gun in your waist. Just so feel like you want to feel the experience of what a gun is like in your hand. You telling me, me making that stupid decision at 14 years old. You telling me at 14 years old. Alright my general, first of all let me apologize. Because I never realized that when you send the video only a piece of it come true. But we get the gist of what you say still. But two things what you say. Me did say me not go do this you know. Because everybody already know my stance on this thing already. But two things what you say in the video when I have to address. You say if a person live in a certain community and them feel like them have to get a, a gun. A illegal gun to protect themselves. Then that doesn't make them a criminal. Wrong my family. Because what is a criminal? That's the question. A person that commits illegal activities or commit crimes. Right? Now, what is a crime? Is having an illegal gun a crime? Of course it is. Isn't it? So, if having an illegal firearm is a crime, and a person that commits illegal acts is a criminal, do I need to explain any more, my family? No. Now the second part to where you say when I disagree is the part where you said that at 14 you want to put a gun in your waist to feel how it feels to hold a gun in your waist and that is a stupid 14 year old mistake. No, family, that is where me disagree again because you see at 14, you're supposed to wise enough to know say, hey, what? it is wrong for me to put an illegal firearm in my waist because if police catch me with it, me can A, go to prison. Or if the death penalty is what is the law for that, me can get the death penalty feed. So because there is nothing in place right now to deter the youth them from making such a, a stupid decision, they will make it. So that are just my opinion though. Oh, no, no. If you agree, but if you don't agree, make me know down in the comment section still. Or if you disagree, tell me the same way. But people, that are just my opinion. For the general, I say still, me respect your opinion, but more want to talk to me down below. Now the next brother here right now have a few things where you want to address. You talk about a whole lot of things. So I'm just going to make you take a listen to what the general says. Zane, come with it. Blessed day, my people. <clears throat> this man me has some very important Christian. We ask the Jamaican people and we ask the government and we ask the security, the Minister of Security. You see me? Some very important question we have to ask. But before we go into the question asking, saying, let me make a thing clear. Make a thing clear. You see, whenever time we do a video on Whosoever put out the video, I don't want nobody if you link me and I tell me, say, I want to join no movements, no group, no nothing at all. You see me? Because whatever you hear me and say, I want to be uncomfortable with and leak out, pan. This is, I don't know, 
They said, no, no, uh, we don't call no. No revolution. You understand? It's not no revolution. You understand? Me just do what I have to do and just say what I have to say. Then because me, I'm my own revolutionist. You see me? Me, I'm my own revolutionist. Me not join with no group. You understand? I'm not join with no movements. You understand? Any joining you go on, I want to must join with me. Me not join with you no. You understand? Because me realize most of no people, most of no people, especially black people, see? Some of them are deserter. You see me? Deserter. Soon as we, we join up with you, know, and so look more for now, I want to sell we out. You understand? Most of them are deserter. So I'm not join up with no group. Not nobody. You understand? Me am my own revolutionist. You see me? Alright, so I'm get that clear. Alright. This is the next thing I'm going to say now. But a question I'm going to fall in. From a little boy, I'm going to go kindergarten. Uh, primary school then. Me always hear my teacher always talk about the teacher them always talk about no, no go right this one. The teacher them always talk about maroons. And most of the, of the program we go on from the radio. You hear them tell about maroons and maroon town and Maroon land and all kind of something. And tell where the maroons them there. And who was the maroons. And who did fight and who did this and who did that. You understand? So the maroons. Where they are Jamaica. Them whole. A great part of the history. Of the country. You understand? And as me say for me I go to primary school. Then tell me some maroons. The maroons them have been land. Wherever they have it. You understand? And the queen or so they sign some cheaty or something like that and they give the maroons them their own land. And then now, if you apply for the police force or the Jamaica Defense Force or some position in, a, in a the law business, even to be a lawyer or a good speaker and, and history or the culture you're supposed to know say you're supposed to know things about the maroons and know things about your country you're supposed to know things about Jamaica so me not understand <clears throat> how the minister of national security me never say one police you know, me never say one lagerhead police you know. You understand? Me never say one lag ahead corporal. You understand? Me never say one lag ahead corporal. Me say the Minister of National Security, Dr. Harris Chong. How come the Minister of National Security, Dr. Harris Chong, don't know that the Maroons of Jamaica have them own land? I'm going to make a speech and say, you don't know what the Maroons them have no land of Jamaica. Brother, but I don't want to know how you're reaching a your position where you're there. Seeing that are the question more asks, how you reach in a the position where you're there. The position where you hold a Jamaica. How you reach in a the position there. If you don't know no history about the Maroons and know say the Maroons have their land. How you reach in a the position there. That me I say no. That me I say. Me realize say when black man, as much as me a black man too. Realize like say when time black man get power, get a look of power, it look like it drive them mad. Like when black man hold certain position or hold certain power in their hand, it's like the power drive them mad. Then because you say. You don't know if Maroons have any land in Jamaica. That is a bad speech. Zane, that is a, it is a easier. It is easier. Zane, come and tell people all the while. And I say, you see, if I did have the resource and have the money and have the power, 
Most are no politician. You see? Most are no politician. We hold big posts and I get big peer. Only that push a cart from Princess Street to King Street. A cart don't have to push downtown. Because we don't have to do this part there. Because we don't have more than me. You see me? We don't have to do this. We don't have to do this more than me. And me, if me didn't hold the position, I have the power. You know, you know what I don't do with you, Mr. Harris Trump? I had to rent that kitchen uptown for you. I supply you with chicken, pop chow, and all them something there. I make you do a kitchen. Make you, make you cook Chinese food. Right? Because that's what you do. You feel left the security force saying, resign, man, and go get a kitchen and cook. Because you don't know nothing about Jamaica history. All right. Don't know that now. Prime Minister, now, you make a speech the other day and you say that if you hold a man with a gun at Jamaica, it will be, you know, pass a law, it will be straight hanging. See? All right. I mean, I say you make a bad speech, you know, but, brother, make sure, say, that speech that you make, make sure, say, the law apply to the tree root and the branch and the leaves also. You understand? So when we hold Uno and for your big friend then make sure say they not get no pardon, make sure they not broke as well. Then alright, and we the, the Jamaican citizen I got just like how you got enforce my law or you gotta make a law. I so we the citizen of Jamaica are gonna enforce the law we are gonna have jungle justice one time for your big colleagues them. Or you be clones them or whatever you want to be. Then, I will, and, and, and police catch them with gun, I will know about it if they can go broke too. Illegal guns. So, if they can go broke too. Next thing. You see, most of them people who, who, who are public servant, public servant to the Jamaican people them. Who's supposed to make, who's supposed to look out for the well the well being of the Jamaican citizen? Somehow no need to lose on a job. Somehow no need to lose on a job. See, me now tell you if you go do farming, you know. Yeah. And then something. There. See, because farming too good for somehow. Then somehow no need to lose on a job. I mean I tell you, the first people who know, who need to lose their job are Jamaica. You see them people yeah? what them call the Bureau of Standard. I don't need to lose in a job. The Bureau of Standard. The Bureau of Standard of Jamaica. I don't need to lose on a job. I don't need to lose in a job. Because I don't need to do, don't need to do a good job. I don't need to do a job. All right. If you're going to the Chinese supermarket, them you know, right at this moment, right now, you know, Christian and Manchester, I mean, I know about nowhere else because I'm Manchester, me live. Then, I check the supermarket, then you see the amount of fraud goods. Then, we're in at the supermarket, them are Jamaica right now. Be a fraud goods, fraud swap, fraud Irish Spring swap, fraud toothpaste, fraud rum, fraud, um, what this thing I name again, man? This tall drinking of the thing. But then see some herbal drink. Um, Arizona. Saying most things they have fried cigarette. All kind of sitting at the supermarket and the brewer standard. When you call the beer standard, me call me take up on my head and me call the beer standard. You know the beer standard tell me I take up the phone line. I am taking up as a concerned citizen. We live in our country. And you call them, and you make a complaint to them, and them are tell you, say, you, them have a one line them have, and you take up the line. Tell me if that's right. You no need to lose on a job. Then, all right. Next stage. Mr. Prime Minister, for your time. Then, I'm not going to make this too long, because I work with you. After one time, you borrow, and you borrow, and you borrow, and you borrow. Saying, from the Chinese government. 
see, from the Chinese government. Borrow your borrow now. And don't give them give you your borrow. I went and you know reach the deadline. To pay them back and me the amount of money. I mean, if I choose, me say we owe them some 70 and 79 billion US or million billion US or something like that. We not, not sure because it just a hearsay. Zin, but me know say. Me know say the Jamaican government borrow money from the China. So when I you know reach the deadline now. But then give you to pay the money now. How it go? Hmm? Where you go give where you go give the Chinese? Where you use and pay them? Where you go use pay them? Are you going to give them our airport as much as you give already? You're gonna give them the wharf. You'll give them the church them. You'll give them the school. Are you give them more land? That's all money if you know. That's all me really, really need. If you know, what you are going to use to pay about the Chinese them when time come. I know, me know the Chinese them are come to Jamaica come see something. You know? I know them are coming to see something. See, in Africa, they, see the, 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 um, they have to give up the airport so, about two weeks ago to the Chinese because they hold the Chinese money and they have to give up the airport. Some of you know what you are going to give to the Chinese when you don't reach the deadline to pay the Chinese them their money. Or you borrow. I mean, I swear no use it do. I mean, I saw no use it do, you know. At Jamaica, you know. I mean, I see how no use the, the money they want to borrow at Jamaica do. Then, let me tell you what you need to do. Let me tell you what you need to do. You see all of them, them abandoned buildings where you have downtown. And all about that in place, them all your bulldoze down the whole of them buildings. Because you look at it, nobody you know one of them building there and them building there now go, now go in operation for the next hundred years. So more you bulldoze them down, buy the land, take it by force. Bulldoze them down and build up, build up, build up some place to attract tourists. You understand? Either you build one amusement park or you put some big casino or something. You understand? In, in a, all of them abandoned building where you have downtown all over. Just build up some casino there, brother. You understand where we can attract tourists to come to Jamaica come and gamble and lose some of the money. You see me? You know, make sense you have them there as store dog and mad people and, 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 and trash. Well, all right, and so people, family, we reach the end of the video right here. The two general them said them peace. More on the talk to me down below in the comment section. What is your take about everything that was said in this video right here? I will be looking for your comment, all right? down below this has been another one from unstoppable tv like share comment and definitely if this is your first time and you have not yet hit the subscribe button please where are we upon hit the subscribe button now turn on all notifications once you upload a video you will get notified no matter what don't make nobody stop you i'm unstoppable my god right now you know we unstoppable unstoppable